What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Rods and Reloads. First off, thank you guys for so much support in the recent videos. It has been crazy. If you're brand new and you do enjoy it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're going out for the rough fish roundup today with Dominic. I don't know what we're going to catch, but we got rough fish rods. We're going to be catching giant carp, buffalo. I don't know what we're going to catch, but I'm excited to do it. We'll see you on the water. I was thinking either the creeks or just a big corner. I think we'll just scan around until we find a bunch of marks and crush. We pulled up to the first spot. It's an inside bend here on a corner and it's kind of got a bunch of slack water here. And what you're doing is you're just literally looking for that. If you look on the side scan, you can see all the fish on the side scan. We got some fish below the boat. These are all fish bladders that are right there. Bigger fish, a lot of big fish here. And then we're going by that tree right there. And you can see it on the side scan right there. So, we're, there's a there's a ton of carp here. About buffalo, carp, oh, whatever. Buffalo would, buffalo would be sick. So I think we're gonna sit. I think we end up sitting right up here. We're gonna sit right up there on the beach, and we're just gonna chuck four rods out here. Oh, there's so many fish here. We're definitely fishing here, <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna set up and in this top side of this hole, and we're gonna catch ourselves something whatever it may be we're gonna catch it because there's fish everywhere here so i think this is a great spot to start we'll give it a rip there we go we are hooked up and it's feeling like a carp it bit like a carp. You get the little deeper taps instead of like that really tap, tap, tap like the sheephead do. The carp and buffalo kind of have a little deeper suction on them. It feels pretty good, like a pretty good fish too. Just a little subtle suckle, which is what you want. We don't have a ton of time today. There's a storm coming. Peel and drag. Best part about carp fishing is they fight so hard. Just making sure we don't get a double here. This is the Gamagatsu carp hook. A lot of people don't even know they exist that don't carp fish, but they do exist. This fish is not messing around, is it, Dom? Not at all. Oh, yeah. Got him. We'll get this in the boat, and I'm going to show you guys this thing. This is a great, this is a great carp right here. Beautiful. It's like a golden light color common carp. And it is a good one. This is a great start to our rough fish roundup. He's getting bit really hard. I'm gonna throw this back. Get that rod. Just uh that's a carp bite. Can you set that? Can you set Should it right now? It? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's hooked up. We're, I gonna got this. We're gonna let this go. <laughs> he's got one on. I don't know if it's still on or not. Is it off? Oh yeah, he's hooked up. The old rough fish roundup coming in hot. Oh, this might be a drum. You think so? It was biting like a carp. That's weird. He's swimming at me. If that's a thing. Oh, it might be a carp actually. That's what I'm saying. I think it's a carp, bro. It was biting really. Oh yeah, you definitely have a carp on. We we're right about the spot though, right? You said it. So let's go to this. Is there water? Is there drinking that? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a nice one too. That's a nice one. Oh, another good carp. There we go. <laughs> I love that. We'll get her in the boat and I'll show you guys this carp too. This is fun. All right. That's a good start. That's like the, the child of mine. Oh, yeah. Let's get her back and let's catch more. This is fun. See ya. Yes, sir. 
All right, let's go over the rig we're going to be using for these carp. It's a super simple rig. This is just one of my walleye rods, and it's an Okuma Helios. Um, but the standard rig here, it's just, I'm just using a Carolina rig. I'm not a hardcore carper, but I love catching carp. Standard Carolina rig with a little bell sinker there, a little barrel sinker, a little bead, swivel, about a foot long leader to a Gamagatsu carp hook. And then I have another rig set up on a catch the fever rod or a big cat fever rod with a little circle hook, same Carolina rig. So we're kind of running the same rigs. And uh, we're just gonna put a little piece of chunk of crawler on here. And we're gonna chuck it out. I even got a little carp dip bait I might try out too, but we're, I think we're gonna get on some fish here. So we're gonna get our rods out and catch some for you guys. Let's go. There we go, circle rod. Oh yeah doesn't get old got it on the big cat fever rod I was getting bit on my right rod on my walleye rod and all of a sudden um, um, this one went hopefully it's still there yep it's still there feels pretty good too this is a this is a medium I think this is a medium medium light trolling rod if you want a rod that's fun with a ton of ton of bend on the end this is Definitely the rod, even for like channel cats and stuff. This rod is so fun. It has so much flex. That's a good one, huh? It feels pretty decent. This rod's pretty soft, but it still feels like a good fish. Hope for like a state record uh, carp sucker or something. That'd be cool. Oh, it's oh, a turtle. turtle. <laughs> you know, I'm just spinning circles. Well. This isn't the play I wanted. I don't like soft shells, but the nice part is the hook's literally, here, come show them this turtle. It's a big soft shell. Hook's in the corner of the mouth, which means I can get it out. So I'm gonna get the hook out of this turtle's mouth and try it again. For deep. Oh. Decent. I think so. Oh, they're decent. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Is it? Yeah. Decent one? I use like the same size as all the other ones. Is it? Yeah. It's running like it's actually means business. Let me get the net. It was rag. I like that. It might be bigger than the other one. It's fighting like it's big. Why? Why? You I hooked it in that butthole, bro. You can jump in like that. Nope. No, it's no. in the mouth. Keep it tight. Got it. Okay. Keep it tight. Go. That's how you do that. It gets caught on that fin every time. Could be but the same guy. It's a nice fish. Nice common carp. Right on. It's a good way to end the day. Yeah. That is a great way to end the day. Got a bunch of carp. Let's let that one go. I think that's going to end this carp extravaganza. We got some heavy rain coming. So we are going to pack up and get out of here. Thank you guys for tuning into this carp episode of Rods and Reloads. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.